Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to have a general discussion with you. So this is not going to be a technical technical tutorial or something. It's a general discussion. So some people have emailed me and asked how many years of experience we should have to be a Citrix administrator or to work in Citrix profile. So this is a very nice question. So I would like to uh, make a video on this topic today. So my advice would be, let's say if you have zero years of zero years of experience, like you just finished your graduation and you're looking for a job. OK. And someone told you that, OK, there is a company called Citrix and they have great products. So if you work in that organization or if you work work in any Citrix profile like a Citrix administrator or something, it can change your career. As a as a fresher coming out of uh, your uh, college, uh, it would be little. Uh, you may not be completely confident about it whether this is really going to help or not because uh, first of all, you don't have much experience. So you would be thinking, okay, am I going to get a job in Citrix? So uh, what I would like to say is, if you are a fresher coming out of some college and if you want to be a Citrix administrator or if you want to be in Citrix profile, okay, so you need not you know work with citrix company directly okay if citrix company itself is hiring freshers it is well and good you can apply and uh, you can give the interview but most of the companies uh, outside okay so the companies that use citrix products there are many companies who are into many industries they could be in manufacturing industry or they could be in insurance or reinsurance or banking or finance or pharmaceutical or any other industry okay so these industries basically need applications published through citrix okay so for that uh, many companies in india okay let's say we have wipro tcs infosys Cognizant, Tech Mahindra, okay, all these uh, companies, service based companies, basically they have some clients in based in Europe or North America or some other region, okay, and these clients could be uh, very big organizations that uh, uh, wanted to use Citrix products in their environment. So uh, basically client says, okay, we need someone who has uh, experience working on Citrix products. So what Wipro or TCS or Infosys does is they look for candidates. Okay, they see like, okay, if is there someone who has, uh, I don't know, four years experience or six years experience or 10 years experience. So those people would be given priority because they already have some experience, okay? Yes. So they will be, they will conduct an interview with these people who have four years, six years, eight years, 10 years experience. And once they get through, they work directly with the client. Okay. So they may go to the client location if required, or they can support from India working remotely. Okay. So they connect to the client infrastructure, Citrix infrastructure, and they can work remotely. Okay. So uh this is for uh, experienced people now let's go back to freshers okay so if you have zero years experience uh, and you want to work on citrix yes you have an opportunity to work on citrix profile okay so what these companies like tcs or wipro all these uh, service-based companies uh let's say for citrix we have level one we have level two and we have level three as well. So level one is like the person who is uh, completely new to Citrix, okay? And um, they would be uh, given 
uh, limited access they would not get complete access to the environment like they would not get access to controllers or back-end uh, server environment server virtualization environment they would get access to let's say Citrix direct uh, okay it's a monitoring tool you can monitor the server infrastructure and you would be get you would be getting training like a I don't know a week training or 10 days training so if you can uh, I mean if you have uh, some knowledge on Citrix director and if you understand if you have some knowledge on Citrix components Okay, let's say Citrix receiver Citrix workspace Citrix uh, controller Citrix license server Citrix uh, storefront Or any other product. Okay, so they will give you uh, they will give you the basic understanding of these products and They'll tell you like okay. This is virtualization. This is how it works and They give you some training on Citrix director and you are good to go you can start working and uh, they will give access to citrix director you can just log in and you can do the daily tasks it could be as simple as monitoring the citrix infrastructure so all you have to do is log into citrix log into the citrix portal log into citrix director and you would be giving some access so your job is to just monitor server infrastructure citrix infrastructure you would be seeing like okay if everything is green or not if something is down then it is your job to raise an incident and send it to the next level which is level two okay so i'm just talking about i'm highlighting about level one now so so these are some things that you can do so even though you don't have experience you can learn the basics of citrix citrix components and in 10 in in a week to 10 days time you will be having good understanding and you will be given access you can start working on it and once you start working that's where the things will change once you start working you will get some issues you will get some kind of alerts and you will start understanding like okay let's say once a trick server the cpu utilization is high it is going above 80 percent okay and you get an alert and uh, and what you do you create an incident you send it across to the level 2 team and they work on it or the memory utilization is high okay or disk utilization is high or some service is down okay some citrix uh, uh, server service is down citrix broker service is down let's say citrix broker service is down and you got an alert so as an l1 person so you need not <laughs> have complete understanding of citrix infrastructure you know that citrix broker service is critical and you can uh, just create an incident or you can send it to level two so that they can log into the servers and they can check and fix the issue okay and also you can do the basic troubleshooting like when you get issues from uh, users like when you get some let's say one user sent an email to your mailbox saying that okay i'm not i'm not able to launch citrix so you can just uh, work with the user you can take the remote session and you can try to perform some basic troubleshooting steps and after performing some basic troubleshooting steps uh, if you think that okay this issue is not getting resolved if you think that this needs to be checked at the server end then you can send the ticket across to level two and they can start working on it okay so basically what i'm trying to say is this is not a very complicated subject yes it is complicated a little bit complicated if you are completely new to technology but if you you know have the basic understanding like if you get trained and if you understand the citrix components then you are good to go you can start working immediately that is not a problem at all so i'm talking about uh, this is for level one and you have zero experience now i will give a different scenario now you are an experienced person let's say you have five to ten years of experience or four to eight years of experience okay but you worked in a different sector okay you are not into technology at all you never heard about citrix you don't know anything about technology let's say you are in you are you were into insurance or reinsurance or finance or some other industry that is nowhere related to it now someone told you that okay uh, if you learn about citrix products then uh, you will be uh, having a great career or great package or whatever the person told you then uh, you started researching about citrix okay so in your scenario what i would like to say is you have an 
added advantage because you already have four to eight years of experience not in IT but you already have an experience so what you can do is uh, during the time of the interview interviewers would know that okay this person already worked in some industry this person knows how to interact with clients this person knows how to reply to emails this person can communicate with people in, in an industry so you have you already have an added advantage when you have four to eight years of experience so when you can answer the interview questions and when you can you know uh, prove them that you can match their culture or requirement then yes you will get through during the interview and they will hire you that is not a problem but you have to give the confidence that once you get hired you can uh, take care of the Citrix infrastructure and take care of their clients as well okay so this is for level this is for experienced people so these people would fall under level two mostly okay even though you don't have experience uh, in Citrix uh, uh, since you have four to eight years of experience you will get a level two role so you can start working on it once you get into the real-time environment you need not uh, get nervous or something so at the end of the day once you join any organization they'll give you a uh, basic uh, you know uh, information about their infrastructure so you will not get access to servers immediately so they will train you on a couple of things you need to understand their business first that is really important and once you understand the business and then slowly they'll start giving access to you once you start giving access you will go through some process which is called uh, knowledge transition kt so if there are some people who are already working in citrix profile in that particular organization in level two role in that case when you're joining uh, there will be a transition process basically they will help you like they will tell you like okay they'll give you some understanding like they'll say okay this is the environment okay these these are the number of servers we have in our environment these are the applications these are the users okay these, these are the number of users okay so these kind of issues we get this is the monitoring tool we use so these kind of things they will cover during the transition process once the transition process is done this transition process would take i don't know a week to 10 days so you will get complete idea about your infrastructure here what you need to do is this is for level one and level two people uh, whatever knowledge we have about citrix okay so when you start working what you need to do is you need to you need to be in sync with the client requirement okay maybe uh, let's say you already have great experience working on citrix products when you join the company yes you can use the previous knowledge to uh, solve the problems or take care of the server infrastructure but every business is different in the real world okay insurance is different their way of thinking is different okay finance people finance business is different their way of thinking is different their clients are different okay manufacturing their way of thinking is different their applications are different and they look in a different point of view so we have to uh, sync according to the client requirement and client culture that is really really required that's what they look for basically if we hire this person is this person uh, suitable for this project can can he sync can he be part of this culture this is what they check so if you can give this kind of confidence yes you will get the job so I think I have answered now for level one and level two so I will also talk about level two if you have a couple of years experience in level one you have now you have worked in level one you have a few years experience and you would like to move to level two yes that is definitely possible within the organization you can move to level two or you can work you can work as a level two in a different organization that is definitely possible so this is the different scenario 
and I would like to give another scenario as well, which is uh, you already have like four to six years of experience working on Citrix products. You worked in some organization for four to six years and you have good knowledge on Citrix products. In this case, when you give an interview, uh, when you start speaking to the interviewers, they know that, okay, this guy worked on Citrix products and he knows, he or she knows what this person is saying. So you will be, uh, you know, uh, given the opportunity for sure, if you do well at the end of the day. So yes, so I think I have uh, given a couple of scenarios and let's talk about level three as well. So uh, if you're working as level two and if you have like four to six years of experience and if you want to move to level three role with six years of experience, let's say you have six to seven years, and then you can apply for level three role within the organization or outside the organization. You can apply for it. So level two people are basically the uh, server administrators, uh, server administrators uh, who have complete access to the server infrastructure and they can make any changes if they want. So if they want to, I don't know, if they want to install some new applications, they can do it. If they want to restart some service, they can do it. Restart the server, they can do it. If they want to publish the application, they can do it. If they want to configure license server, they can do it. If they want to create a store, they can do it. So everything, they can do anything basically. But at the end of the day, you need to get the request from the business to do these things, okay? So if there is a request from business asking you to install applications, then you can move forward. But while troubleshooting, yes, you can take your own decision to uh, solve the issues as soon as possible. So uh, this is level two and level three is like the main guys who uh, who are the main point of contact for the client. So so level three guys deal with clients directly. It's like you will be the main point of contact for the client. So uh, you need to uh, you know update all details about the Citrix environment, what is happening, and uh, were there any big issues, and what are the steps you are taking to uh, uh, eradicate big issues in the environment and would you like to upgrade the server environment to a new version and uh, if you get any updates from Citrix directly, Citrix company directly, uh, you know, if there is, let's say if there is some uh, vulnerability and there needs, we need to update some uh, update on all of the Citrix servers, then, you know, you have to, you have to be in a position to take the decision. Once you take the decision, what happens is now you need to push that update or the software to all servers in this Citrix infrastructure. Okay. So this is very critical because this is some kind of vulnerability and you have to fix it immediately. So level three has, you know, uh, the uh, role to take a decision and take this forward basically. So this is level three. So I think I've given uh, <laughs> details about level one, level two and level three. So uh, what I would like to say uh, before I end this call is uh, no matter uh, wherever, uh, whichever situation uh, you are in right now. So even though you are a fresher, you can learn Citrix and you can apply for roles. Even if you have four years, three years experience in some other domain, you can learn Citrix and apply for jobs. And if, even though you have four to six years of experience in Citrix, of course, you can definitely apply for uh, roles for level three and uh, uh, other roles. So yes, so all you need is you need to find a person who can teach you who can guide you like a trainer okay and it's not like okay the training is done <laughs> it's not it's not just like okay the training is done go look for a job uh, you need to work with someone who can guide you after the training is done who can get okay this is how the environment you you need to understand how the citrix real-time environment works okay what are the issues you get how things work in the real-time and real-time environment so Yes, so if you have knowledge on these things, then you are good to go. You can start working immediately. Even you have like, uh, you know, uh, basic understanding of Citrix products, you can start working and helping clients. So uh, when I started working 
uh, when I started supporting Citrix products, I <laughs> didn't have much experience. But uh, they liked the way I spoke during the interview. And uh, they were like, okay. They were like, okay, I, if, I, if I hire this guy, will he take care of the uh, clients? And that, that, I think that, 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 is the, that is one question that they are going to think or ask. So they thought, okay, I could do it. And they gave me the opportunity to work. So I was like, uh, you know, I was working with all level three candidates. So that's how I started in Citrix. So not a problem. So, but once you start working, you should not, you know, uh, uh, you should not stop uh, learning. You should, it's, it's every day you need to learn a new topic on top of uh, the last, I mean, yesterday's topic, basically. So you need to keep updating yourself with the latest information, keep updating your knowledge about Citrix and start giving interviews. You'll fail in one or two interviews. That's not a problem. If you fail, that's not a problem. What you need to do is once you fail, then you need to come home, take a book, write, write down all the questions on a piece of paper. And okay, if, if the interviewer had asked 15 questions, let's say, Make a note of all the questions on a piece of paper, start researching, start to get, gather answers, go to another interview, you'll get another 15 questions and then start making a note of it. So you go to third interview, you already have 30 questions and you are already experienced. Now you have some knowledge about the Citrix interview process. So that's how you need to move forward and you will at some point in time, you will, you will get, you will get hired. So. So it, it, it's not a problem, even though you're not through in the initial stage, you need to learn from the experience and move forward and you will get through. I think this is a very long video. Uh, uh, thank you for listening to my, uh, <laughs> you know, my talk. Uh, I hope you find this uh, information helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.